Hello, members of the vinyl community. Tony P, coming at you from the basement, La Casa de Perla, La Hacienda, the house in the basement. Uh, it's a nice Monday evening. Today's my birthday. Happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me, happy birthday to me. I'm 29 today. No, I am a hundred minus twenty-eight. You do the math. I'll let you figure it out. But that aside, I've come on to jump on a contest for Doug Anderson. I can't remember what his other channel was, but I knew I do know his new channel is called auditory vinyl can I check my cheat sheet right here it's the auditory vinyl he decided to rebrand himself that takes a lot of courage I try to rebrand myself I, I there's not there's not that much left to rebrand you know th this is what else am I gonna do this is me you know so he has a contest called one two three go and he has three simple questions a very simple contest if you're so like-minded, please join it. Uh, he, he, he's starting all over again, and I think he's somewhere close to 100 subscribers. So if you would, pretty please with sugar on it, go to his channel. I'll put a link below. Go to his channel. Subscribe to him. He appreciate it. I'd appreciate it. What the heck? And it's a really easy contest. The first thing he wants you to do is give a shout-out to a channel. And... Uh, you know, he wants you to show also a record that chi that channel would show. Now, I, I hate doing shout outs because you make somebody mad. You make somebody happy, but you make somebody mad. And I, and, and I, and I, and I do it for love. I, I love all of my channels, all my subscribers. I thank you so much for subscribing to me. And please don't be mad because I didn't single you out. I, I'll get you next time. I promise. This channel in particular, uh, it's relatively new. He's been around a little bit, but he's relatively new. He's north of the contiguous 48 states. Uh, he's in Canada. He's around the Montreal, the, the French speaking part. Uh, his channel is called The Vinyl Lounge. The Vinyl Lounge. Uh, Olivier and uh, Katie and their family wonderful channel wonderful channel please I, i'm going to put a link for their, that channel please go subscribe to him he he does youtube videos but he likes instagram because he, i think he does he does a lot of shorts and uh and he does them well and he's more prolific than i am he's a wonderful he's a wonderful guy wonderful family very, very family-oriented kind of guy. He likes vintage stuff like I like vintage stuff. He likes Linda Ronstadt, too. So, I mean, you can't go... You can't, can't be a bad guy. He's wonderful, though. He's wonderful. He's a good man. Please, 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 please subscribe to his channel, The Vinyl Lounge. Uh, he's on Instagram, too. He has Facebook, I believe, too. And he does, of course, do YouTube. I'll put, I'll put those links down below here somewhere. Okay. So that's my shout out. And what I would see, you would see anything. He has shown uh, Mary Poppins music. Uh, I think there's a polka on there somewhere. He does country. He does vintage classic rock and roll. He does modern. He does it all. And I know that if I would go to his channel, that he would probably have Edgar Winter on there somewhere. And they only come out at night. This is a good, good album, by the way. I got a chance to see Edgar Winter back at my university back in the day, 1975, I think. I saw him, but he was with uh, uh, Edgar Winter. He came with Edgar Winter, came with, his, or came with Johnny Winter, too. Edgar Winter was there. Uh, he was white trash at that one time. The Not him, but his group, band, was called uh, Edgar Winter and White Trash. 
and uh, Frankenstein was her big hit, and he had Rick Derringer with him, and he, of course, had his brother. But uh, that, of course, grateful. Good album, if you get a chance to, to get that album. It's an excellent album. Uh, so, that's my shout-out. That's question number one. Number two, uh, show a record you... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Show two albums you never really... Or never or rarely see in the, in the vinyl community. Bobby Vinton. Bobby Vinton. You people who are my age... Bobby Vinton was the the Cannonsburg, the Polish king from Cannonsburg, the Polish prince, Polish prince, I'm sorry, he wasn't quite a king yet, the Polish prince from Cannonsburg, Western Pennsylvania. Such great hits as roses are red, my love, violets are blue, sugars blue on blue, heartache from heartache, I love how you love me. Blue velvet, da, da, da. please love me forever. Lonely, I'm Mr. Lonely. My sister-in-law's favorite singer, her husband at the time, was in Vietnam. And she played Mr. Lonely all the time. But they ever see Bobby Vinton, the Polish prince, the Cannonsburg King. Come on. Never see him. Second one that I, I find hard to believe too is Dan Fogelberg, especially this album, uh, The Innocent Age. Dan Fogelberg. He had four charting songs off here. What were they? Uh, Run for the Roses, Leader of the Band, Same Old Lang Syne. That's on side two. This is a double album. And Hard to Say was on her. Um, but he had, who did he have on this album? He had. Um, uh, Henley, uh, Don Henley, he had Glenn Fry, he had Amy Lou Harris, he had Joni Mitchell on here. Great album, good album. Um, 1981 was, I think it was 1981, let me check my notes, because sometimes I, sometimes I forget. Yeah, 1981, his most successful album, but we don't see it. Dan Fogelberg, how many of you have it? Do you have it in your repertoire? Pull it up, play the dang thing. Good album. But those are two that you know, you very rarely would never see. Okay? Uh, last one. What's the last question? Last question is, one artist, three different bands. This was a no-brainer for me. Now, you might get mad. Somebody else, I think, even did it. But I didn't copy off them. I already had this in my, my noodle. Okay? How many of you are going to guess? You know who it is? Jimmy, Bobby, Jerry, quit picking your nose. Okay, I'm sorry. Linda Rostad. Who was she with first? Stone Ponies. Huh? We won't talk about her solo career. Keep talking about her being in groups. Stone Ponies. That, that let it all off. Huh? Made the magic. She was with two other ladies. She was in a trio, Emilio Harris, of course, Dolly Parton, and there's lovely Linda. Okay, yeah. see what I mean? Now, I gave you a little bit of education. Some of you probably know this because you're very smart. Members of the VC, you are intelligent. I know you are. But how many of you know she was in this band, The Old Diamond? She was one of the Silver Bullets. Her and Nicolette Larson were in a band singing backup to uh, my buddy, Neil, I was gonna say Neil Young, and Stars and Bars. Uh, I don't know if, we, if they have it on here in the back or not, I can't remember. Uh, Emmy Lou Harris is on here too, by the way. Let me see if they have it on here. Ah, the silver bullets. Yeah, it's right at the top. I almost missed it. And the silver bullets. The silver bullets. Linda Ronstadt, Nicolette Larson, and Carol 
Matteo, Matteo. Okay, they were the silver bullets. So I give you a little bit of education and a little bit of other stuff. Hey, there's my entry, uh, Mr. Anderson. I hope it meets with your approval. God bless you. May the force be with you. Nanu, nanu. May all your records be flat. May your stylus run true. whoop de doo for your Subaru. And bye. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye.